a couple of picks man. Rubik not so much, but Luna. <laughs> they're not, yeah, they're not out then. There's definitely no way they're gonna mess around and have fun. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. So basically, if they draw, they're tied with space. And if they win, they are first place. <clears throat> TNC's turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. <clears throat> Finally, but I mean, performance for WSG has like been pretty solid. Uh, they just have to play a little more composed. I think, like, I think it was before, was it before yesterday? They played like a very, very strange game where they felt it felt like they were just playing very very cocky and as long as they avoid doing something like that i think they're like in a really cool position to just take these games fairly easily yeah tnc so it's yesterday 10 seconds remaining five seconds remaining and then the second TNC's game was the Meepo pick. Turn to pick. Their trademark, uh, Five. Off <clears throat> Reserve time. Dire team pick. Seems like people just really like it for to combo it up with the then hook someone. It's always good for a potential save. Uh, Slaughter blinks in and crushes. <clears throat> Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. He already is. He, he already is. Time. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I pick him too. It's great. I mean, he can he can he can fall flat on his face at the same time, so it hit or miss. That's why you have to take it into your own hands and learn how to play himself. So that's what I'm doing. I've lost MMR, but you know what? I'm learning. Sort of, yeah. Legion Commander! <clears throat> TNC's turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. I... I actually think this is... Potentially a carry time. bench. No, it might just be an offlane slogger. Yeah, it might just be a core a core slogger core binge. Um It's just like, you know, what with the there being a pudge, if someone gets hooked, you can actually turn the fight around just by having a core bench go in like that. And you just itemize for it and Tank up. 
So it's kind of like a it's kind of like a, a counter to Pudge. If Rosara initiates, like you know, go off whoever gets the Ten done, seconds but remaining. If your teammate gets thin, I mean, this is a potential. Five seconds remaining. Eight. And it can pretty easily turn a fight around, I think. Reserve time. TNC's turn to ban. It really, it really depends on how the game is going, and I mean, it's just we're just speculating here. They can always just because of the support, just something else as a as a carry. I mean, this is a, a great game for Reserve time. blade mail, so maybe, maybe just something that can buy blade mail. I think it's a really good hero. Dire team pick. Uh, magic immune carry. Uh, healing ward for the duel or the whoever gets hooked. And you can just omni slash. Ten C, seconds I guess, remaining. If he decides to duel. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. You know what the, the counter to blade mail is? You buy silver edge. It, it this is I learned this from uh from my friend Frenzy from F or yeah. He used to play on FDL. Played an in-house with him and I went the blade mail build on Quap. And he built Silver Edge and destroyed me. Troll. And I was wondering why my oh, my blade mail did no damage and it actually reduces the effectiveness by a huge amount. Right, yeah, from the from the blade mail. So you actually don't really take much. Oh. <laughs> Ten <clears throat> seconds remaining. Five right. seconds remaining. I wasn't even twenty-five, but it looked like it looked like I did no damage to him. To see. Oh, good thing. Good thing someone in chat said uh, audio isn't working. Apparently, my audio isn't working. How can this? No, it's working. It's yeah. I think that actually is the case. Am I? Am I not speaking? Up? Five seconds. I, I, I wouldn't be able to tell. Referring to you, not me. All right, let's let's fix that real fast. Lu oh, it's you who's yeah, silent. Oh, okay, that. not me. <laughs> hello, hello. I mean, it's it's so loud. It's so loud here. No threshold. Hello. Maybe he maybe he's trolling you. Who knows? But anyways, maybe. Early smoke. Getting the wards out. Uh, crimson. It seems like this is like the most popular warding spot right now. I think people are definitely going to catch on to this. Yeah, I mean, if you if you're a support and you're looking to deward at this spot, I think that's the number one spot you check. I mean, you put the sentry here, because some people like to like put it over here instead. Anyway, walking up the hill. Rior smoke breaks and shitty bench cast range feels bad. They should sentry here right now, yeah, and they do. That that preparation, that foresight. Thirty seconds. Yep. Everyone's onto this. Uh, 
this Pudge lane pulling thing. Yeah. This is probably why the, the real. This is probably the real reason why people pick Pudge actually. So you can force everyone to do something about the uh, side pulls. Well, the, the the beauty of the dire side Pudge is that you could also pull this uh, camp on the mid lane. I mean, you could have done that in the old patch, but you just like you, you body drag the creeps here, and then you you stand your punch here, and you, you pull up here the with the hook. Begins. So I don't think people are actually realizing how good Hudge is. Fortune. And regarding to the side pull, I don't think people are playing it correctly either. Because the beauty of side pull is you hit a level two pretty much instantaneously, and you're supposed to be roaming with the level two. But what I've been seeing instead is people is like, oh, I could side pull. Let me just stay here and try to get five. And I just think that you just lose a lot of effectiveness on the hero by doing so. Well, Rocky, he, he knows about this. Anticipated it perfectly, and he's ready to hit this side pull to see just how effective it is. He even bought the Quelling Blade. Like, he's totally committed to this. Okay. I mean, you could actually just mess up and just, like, ruin your laning stage. Oh my god, he can't pull the small one. There you go. Easy. Got it. I mean, he. this is when you can tell someone went into the practice mode to test this stuff out. Always good to see. And now the fact that Clody does not get cancelled by neutrals is, uh, allows you to do that. I mean, there's two ways you, you can actually do this. You could just auto attack Radiance and uh, make sure your crew wave survives. So you could even pull it to the ancient to so fully deny the crew wave. Meanwhile, it looks like TD in a lot of trouble. Cuckoo comes in. I think he's going to die to a sea race. Ooh, nice fair fire. But the burn might be enough. He turns on the fire to ignite the fire and now shrine up in the very last second. All right. Did have to very nicely done. Yeah, commit a lot yeah. of resources to survive, but he did survive. And Rodgy, he connects the pull with another hook down the hill. Yeah. yeah. So, the, I mean, you, he clearly practices. This is actually really nice to see. Right. And like you said, it's, this is really effective. He's level two and a half already. And then, like that, if he lasts at everything, you can see that his gold is almost a boots. You're supposed to buy boots that like two and a half, almost level three, and just start being effective. And in fact, we might see a chain into a gank, chain into a hook. Yes, nice oh. knock your tower down. Going down tower can hit once. Yeah, one nice more than block from Tiki, and that's gonna be first blood being dropped by Raji. Damn. Damn! All right, you talked about yeah. Oh, top lane, Crimson goes okay. down. Yeah, that's and not. You were so. talking about how there hasn't been uh, too many effective pudges. But yep. This is by far the most effective. Uh, this time. You went into the lab, man. Oh, Psionics up top. You have to be really careful. Look how low he is. I mean, with like, you know. Bye. He's got a magic stick. That tangles. Meanwhile, now Pudge rotating bottom. I don't think Raven can be killed, especially with that healing ward, but it looks like that's gonna get sniped. And the patience, Raji. Looking for the hook. They, they, they know they he's... see him. Yeah, they, they see, see him. him. Oh, but what oh, are you gonna do about this? Real? Actually, <laughs> Raji might be a little bit in trouble. He's gonna run away from uh, Raven, and now Velo going in. Velo's got a pro man shield, so he's not too worried. In fact, Pudge coming back in, and Hope actually did some mana for it. Back in the mid lane, though, it looks like Tiki. Nice to solo the Cuckoo. Cuckoo is seemingly uh, outlaning him pretty hard. I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty sure this is like a, to a totally, I wouldn't say impossible, but it's a very, very bad matchup for an Ember Spirit. Yeah, but he's got a gank. Yeah. Right? Is it enough? I don't think the matchup is good enough for the Ember Spirit to win it with just one gank. Yeah, I, I guess Ogre ganked him earlier too, so that's... Something to be said about that. Raji's gonna swing around. I mean, that's the power of this combination, right? The, the whole chain into easy hooks. But this time, he's gonna be much closer to his tower. Okay, he's gonna try to juke, but I think that juke might have been the death of him. Chain is gonna be available. Nice hook here, and spare fires up to pop. So is the magic stick. Cuckoo, though, is gonna go down to the right, but I think Raji will go down. Body block's gonna come out here. Buying everything. Oh, dude, he's, he's not fine. gonna be dead. Nicely done. And he, yeah. This I mean, is this the punch I'm expecting that I'm hyped for. I just, actually doesn't even have to go home, man. He's got tranquils. Look at him. Yeah, we definitely, definitely keep your eyes out on this punch. He's making pretty much all the plays happening for Geek Fan right now. Every yep. other lane is just trying to get their farm and levels, so he's like the only one who's able to get anything done. I mean, he's watching the mid lane. Is he gonna hit this? I'm not sure. If it, down. I'm not sure if it's H3 pool is gonna be enough here, but now oh, with the chain. Here we go. Yeah. I mean he will die, but it doesn't oh, matter. He the hook. 
Okay, that doesn't matter. T's gonna pick up the go. I mean, he probably wouldn't have to die if D he didn't block the hook. But Pudge needed a found trip anyways, and I guess uh, the downside is that Shadow Fiend picks up the kill. Now he's gonna be at a top lane. Crimson is gonna be the lift here to set things up. And this this is a quality blade purchase. Alright. Gonna toss him right. back. Crush is already I mean, the crush is already used. hook. Raji. Three, one, and one. All four kills so far. Damn. I mean, he makes this game easy to the camera, because... I mean, he's, the, he's all the action, yeah. Yeah. I actually missed a couple of kills, because I've been following him too much. But it's fine. And the best part about it is that he's he's actually doing really well on EXP as well. It's five minutes in, he's already four and a half. Yep. Oh, and actually now pops smoke. He's everywhere! The ninja punch! Probably should wait for Crimson to initiate, though. Unless he's that, that damn confident about his hook. Dyer's middle tower is and under Tim's attack. gonna be on the side. They're expecting him to be here. Okay. No, they want to go for Sam H. I, I don't know if they see Sam H though. They have to make something happen soon. This uh, smoke is about to run out. They I mean, want I Cuckoo, obviously, but yeah, I think he's putting pressure on Cuckoo. Right? Cuckoo's not lane anymore. He's jungling, which this now they should see Cuckoo soon. No, Cuckoo's actually going to farm this camp instead. Very good awareness here by TNC. That's one way to deal with the Pudge, just to show up at all. Okay. Uh, Raj they're is wasting cutting. a lot of their time Dyer's here. Bottom tower is under attack. I mean, they're securing farm for a Tihi, so that's, that's one thing that they're getting out of it. Okay, they have the slight chain combo, but chains only. Yeah, they're standing one. on top of a ward, though. They they know exactly what's going on. Yeah. Slight chain. Oh. Okay, that was a little bit awkward. And now T committed. He does still have a way out. He's gonna jump back out. All right. Not the worst, and they're gonna go and fountain up together. Okay. But I mean, that was a lot of time wasted by Geek Fam. I mean, it was almost like a minute and a half. They were just yeah. sitting in mid. I mean, uh, Venge and Ogre had to also rotate, so... But still, it, it was a smoke commitment and I didn't get too much. Bottom, the 1v1 going pretty well. As you expect for Raven, because he's got the... Well, it's not a truly 1v1, because he's got backup support. But... Uh, Balo is still getting a ton out of this lane as well. Yeah, definitely. He's already level 6. And... Face Boots and Blightstone is his item of choice. He actually already used dual, but I didn't, didn't. I didn't even notice. Yeah, it looks... came out of it. No one has bonus oh, damage. Oh, Omni Slash. Yeah. No, he's Legion Commander is way too tanky for him to make that kind of a play. He would have to hit the Omni Slash and then spin as well, because he does have the mana for now. Oh, but here comes the punch. A hook into Duanda Tower will be uh, will be all they need to get the kill. And Raji. Seems like Raven. Raven knows something is up. I mean, I gotta say, Raji's already effective -less. Like, he, he's already done what he needs to do. Um, and anything on top of this is now icing on the cake. Teehee aggressively going on Rior, but... Not gonna be able to force the kill. Mine. Selfish. Ooh, Shadow Interesting Pete. to see. Invis'd up. Got that ulti. He knows both of them are here. Raven can easily bait this out. Well, maybe he's gonna wait for the duel to happen first, and then just get the easy ult. Oh, in fact, the ult's gonna come here on Velo, and that should be an easy kill, yeah. And now, Raven, is he gonna force like another one? No, let's just back it up. You know the old uh, Invis room and Shadow Fiend ult? As soon as she channeled that ult, your Invis breaks. Yeah, that was the worst thing ever. Yeah, but now... You get the full channel. It's actually such a big, like, buff to Shadow Fiend. I think it actually still breaks your invis, but only towards the towards the very, end. Yeah, yeah towards, towards the end. It used to that like as soon as you start your wiggling dance, like it's you see. All right, Raven gets poured up top. He smoked up, and they're actually gonna take the long way around. Which the danger for this is that uh, the Rubik can tank the gank. 
Or not. He moves away. I mean, this Luna has to be very careful. He's in a very dangerous location right now. No help with him. Oh, smoke breaks. Looks like. Okay, clap. Clap's gonna get a little bit moved as well, but spin and. I think he's pretty much the guarantee. The question is, what are they going to have to use? All these slash seven H almost nice. That was very cool. Yeah. Another rotation from Geek Fam, a little bit slow. So it seems like it's uh, Geek Fam step behind in all of these engagements. I mean, on the bright side, at least they still have the clips on the Luna. Oh, smoke breaks. They catch out Riar. It's going to be a duel. Not Wait, here. Brody, no. Velo is uh, definitely yelling at Brody for that one. Okay, can they rot him down? Okay, rot through the trees. That's going to be one kill. But the question is, are they going to make it out alive? Everyone is quite low in terms of HP. Sam H. Oh, that hook. Oh, it's not ready up here. Jump forward here. TG looking. Okay, chain not necessary. Looks like power did take down the punch. Meanwhile, Velo moving forward, still looking for a duel. He's going to phase through these trees or not. Teleport coming in is going to scare them away. No, Bench lifted back into a beam, into finally a duel. There you go. There we go. First victory of the game here for Velo. Oh, that looked uh, very, very sloppy from TNC. They just seem to like pour in one by one. I thought like, you know, after one person gets caught, it might as well just... Middle give up or regroup a little more cleanly. Yeah, <clears throat> I agree. Looks like Cuckoo is gonna be going for the very standard uh, Dragon Lance. Normally, you go for Shadow Blade if you're having a decent game. And I would say Shadow Blade is actually quite good to dodge all of these ganks. But I guess you just want to stack up a little bit. Lovely. Right. Everyone just goes back. I feel like Geefang should probably put some use to their uh, Luna's Eclipse. They took one tower with it and they still haven't used it. I think they can easily just go and pressure another lane or something like that. Would you uh, suggest them making the same play like TNC did earlier? Just TP the Luna to a tier 2 and then smoke up with the support and just go? Or are you, are you suggesting like just straight up? walk up to a tower and start sieging it. Well, you should never give away too much information if you're gonna go for a push, right? You don't exactly wanna, like, have all people, all five of your heroes show up at top lane for a push. But if you're gonna push like that, then just let the Luna push the lane out a little bit and then everyone runs through. Oh my god, Cuckoo almost forced a kill on, on Velo. <laughs> kind of punishing him a bit. I mean, despite all of the, the punch plays, the score is 6 to 7, and the net worth is very much so in the favor of TNC. TNC is still farming better. Uh, in the overall grand scheme of things, I think Geekfam needs to do a lot more if they want to get a, a victory here. Yeah, I definitely agree. TNC just seemed to be a little better in the uh, efficiency department. They're just farming way faster than uh, Geekfam is. Oh, they see and... Crimson. Crimson said. That's a reveal of the blink. Probably sure they wanted more than a Rubik kill, but you know, kills the kill. I mean, and to be fair, like Sam H, he's just going into Roshan. They want to take this. Really? He... <laughs> I don't know about this. He didn't intend for uh, Roshan to beat him to death. I, I mean, if they know this is happening, a single overwhelming odds here is gonna just shred these guys apart. Where's Velo? Velo's not coming for this. It is so close. Yeah, it's like, I mean, if you're gonna decide on this, you have to be quick. Yeah. The, the Slardar factor. Slardar Shadow Feed factor. And Cuckoo is gonna go for that Shadow Blade, like you mentioned. Okay. I mean, it's just plays like these where I feel like Geek Fam is perhaps outplaying TNC a bit, but then. Like, they win the small victories, but they, they lose the big battles. The TNC getting big objectives. Well, at this point, uh, Geek Fam are just waiting for Velo's Blink Dagger to set them off. Okay. Start them off. It's only 100 gold away, but Rocky, he's walking through this ward. It's a yeah. pretty big kill. It's going to translate into probably a tier 2. Yeah, definitely a tier one. And with tier one such low HP, maybe maybe the tier two is gonna happen. And Shadow Fiend's gonna rotate in. Damage is coming out. Yep. 
Dyer's yeah, they have the ages, so this should be an easy tier two attempt. Oh, just still down. They don't have to worry about anything. And with the Venjar, well, Venjar is only level one, but more than enough damage to take this out. In fact, I did take a poke up to the high ground. Reinforce the glyph used. Radiance top tower. Make them uh, TP back. Raja can hit a hook, but I don't know if he wants to actually land this hook. Yeah, definitely not the kind of hook you want to hit. Just yet. He's going okay. for it. Catches Cuckoo. I don't know if this okay. is the best idea. Yeah, he's not even going to bite him. Overwhelming odds. That's, I mean, that's what he needed to do earlier. Healing War gets stolen. If they get land another hook here, it could be good. Oh, that creep though! Wait. I think it probably still would have missed. No, I think that was uh, that was a TNC creep. No, 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 I mean like even if it wasn't there, it might have. Oh, that was definitely body block. It was well done. Yeah, that's true. All right, Velo does have blink, so if they could catch a big kill here, maybe like Raven's mid, they ping him out. Let's see what they can do with this counter smoke. They do have the blink up on Velo. They. They actually have to catch up the bench first, otherwise I don't think there's any way they're gonna get a kill happen here. Yeah. The movement is just a bit, like, too predictable, right? Like, normally when you get such a deep push like that and you can retreat safely, the enemy team, like, it's almost feeling like they're forced to get something done, so the likelihood of a smoke is very high. Alright, Rodkey, he wants to hit this hook. This is a very good hook. Oh, 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 where's the fight? I think he got boss, maybe? I think so. Well. I mean, TNC just doesn't care, right? Like, they still have Aegis on Shadow Fiend. They can just keep going. In fact, Shadow, Shadow Fiend, Fiend, he's wrapping around. They see Veil. Vale. big. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah. Nothing comes out of it. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Funny thing is that Raven's the one without the Aegis, but he's playing like he has one. He's just like... Going right on top of the tower. I mean, he's, he's like actually really tanky. This is just the strength of that Dominator build. Yeah. He's got 1400 life and he's got that spin to rely on. I also really appreciate the, the magic wand, the completed magic wand. It's just like, it just adds that extra level of survivability on top of your hero. Yeah. The game definitely slowed down all of a sudden. Mm. Both teams are playing very carefully. I mean, I think the game slowed down fast for the punch team, right? If oh, definitely. I mean, TNT is already pulling ahead. It's fine. Yeah. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. I mean, I guess this explains why uh, the... The Juggernaut pick, right? I keep saying, like, Blade Mail is very good against it, but... I mean, at this point, this Dyer's Legion Commander is so underfarmed that Blade Mail is so far away. In fact, he's going for Armlet. Dyer's but Blade Mail is not even going to be a factor for a long time. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I don't think Blade Mail is actually very good against TNC's lineup, though. I mean, it's good against Requiem and crits, I guess. But... I mean, that's about it. But you I mean you have to uh, like understand that Juggernaut is most likely going to be immune to all of the Blade Mail damage, right? If you're going to Omni Slash, you're not going to take anything. If you're spinning, you're not going to take anything. Either. It's it's more of like if you get to initiate, which so far they really haven't been able to. But, you know, after that laning phase, TNC is just, like, really, really disciplined now. Not getting caught out, always playing 5-man, ready to respond if anyone gets caught out. And I think it's TNC that's trying to catch people out now. Cuckoo can make solo kills happen with his ult. And Slaughter has been making a ton of plays already. Alright, Aegis runs out. There's only one Tier 2 left on Geek Fam side. And Cuckoo, he's looking at this top lane. I'm surprised that he just didn't Shadow Blade in. I guess uh, Rubik is not likely to be alone. I think he. I wonder what he was doing there. Is he just trying to bait? I feel like I mean, he's just he, trying to bait them. He had vision of, of here. Right. So that's probably a bait, right? He's just wasting everyone's time. He was forcing mm -hmm. the entire Dire team to just walk up there and he just leaves. Okay. So that's a. Pretty neat play. I mean, they never saw the Shadow Fiend, so for all Geek Fam knows, there's no Shadow Fiend there. No, 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 no. He, like, a, a top lane. Like, he was oh, he literally looking at Rubik. Yeah, yeah, he, he was looking at Rubik in the face. It almost made it look like he was an illusion, but... 
It's actually the hero. Should have seen Ray's randomly just to show him. It's like, I'm not allergic. Yeah. All right, TMC are gathering up. Smoke. One more tier two tower. I think if they manage to make a successful smoke happen here, this is going to be pretty damn big. It's going to be a huge gold swing if they manage to take this last tier two. Shadow Fiend actually going for S and Y. What's your thought on that? He sold it. No, he okay. didn't sell it. Just kidding. I thought completed. he was going to go for Manta, but Anjan Yasha, I mean, I think this is perfectly fine. I think they feel like they're strong enough to just end the game uh, Radiance top tower at moment's notice. Oh, I mean, SMY is running straight at them. Yep. Get caught up. Okay. I mean, that's, I think that was meant for Sion. Like, Sion is going to get healed up a little bit, but looks like the heal will be enough. And now, Deepam looking to make some sort of play. They have the blink available, but no one's really Cuckoo has isolated. double damage. Yeah. They need detection down. Okay, you drop sentry. Cuckoo should know. Blink crush from damage. Dyer's middle tower. Has fallen. And Crush is stolen, but Rubik doesn't have a Blink Dagger, so it's going to be fairly difficult to get this off. And they got the Terra 2, which is really all they wanted. Definitely. I mean, even though they weren't able to make a kill happen, you know, taking this Tier 2 is definitely huge. Yeah, so going back to the SFY, SFY is kind of like a win-now item, right? Because I feel like if you look at the scale, there's just better choices for the Shadow Feed. Yeah, definitely. I mean, honestly, like SMY, if you if you think about the item, it's the cost of essentially two ultimate orbs, and he would have Scotty after the scoop wave if you wanted that. Doesn't give you that movement speed though. Or the main. The main is actually so weak on a range. <laughs> Look, I, I'm not a I'm not a fan of this item, but you know, he's he's winning. I don't think he's gonna die unless he gets hooked. So. All right, Geek Fam are grouped up again. This is probably their last smoke, so they really have to make it count. I, I'm pretty sure this is their last smoke. Yep. We got the angle, but I think TNC knows something is up. I mean, as long as they just group up, They've been kind of playing the, the four and one. Like Cuckoo's gonna be by himself. Cuckoo might run into this whole gang squad. I think the ward actually caught vision of Cuckoo. Cuckoo's gonna run straight to his team though. I think that's going smoke straight is, for that invis. Uh, the smoke's about to run out. All right, they're waiting for them on the high ground. I think. Okay, smoke ends. They don't got any vision. He, he moving forward. Chain not gonna hit. Radiance this is such an awkward position. I mean, they know. Yeah, they know. Straight to the building, bench. Straight to the buildings, right? All right. He has gone back first. Pudge is here to cut the wave. Oh, blink stun. Swap into a stun. Perfectly executed, and well, he's dead. He's got five. Oh, I got a courier. I mean, tier three is about to go down. Oops. Nice. Oh, that's crazy. Right, that, that looks so strange. Yeah. I didn't think that, that would have blocked, but it did. And look at how fast the field is going down. Okay, buyback coming out. Cyanex dropping a beam. TNG is off. And now Crimson is blocking the hook. <laughs> I mean, Raji had the most explosive punch early game I've seen in a long while. And then nothing came from it, because TNC... I think a lot of it is just to do with, uh, like, TNC just had much... Better farming and um, like map movement altogether. They just like avoided everything Geek Fam threw at them. Like it was like three smokes in a row and nothing happened for Geek Fam. And just look at the the, the CS thing. It's like they're just so far ahead of the cores on Geek Fam side. Cuckoo. Oh, look, this is gonna be big. Oh, well, he actually didn't die from it, but the right clicks. And now you just go straight to Roshan and end the game. I mean, he's got that BKB queued up. I mean, I think, like, even if you don't like the Sanjin Yasha build, it's perfectly viable here. And Kuku is blessed by the, uh, the double the dream god. Yeah, yeah, he's. I feel like he's got it like four times this game. I mean, no, no, I, I don't dislike the, the SMY. The SMY is like a riskier item, like, because they have to win essentially within the next 15 minutes or so. 
and I'm more of like a risk averse player. I just want to get the safe item every time, but it looks like they are gonna win, right? Like dude, I just don't see how Big Cram could actually repel the Shadow Fiend. And uh, it's a calculated risk, I suppose. Well, he's going for the second shrine, and then bottom, I guess. Oh, Poyer! Oh my God, Poyer run! Oh, no. ultimate orb. So Kufu has the money to buy his uh, BKB. Well, actually, he's going for the Scotty now. Okay. But the courier is dead. He can't buy anything. That's fine. Super sad, Shadow Fiend. It's the way go way to go, man. I'm just like so far. Have we seen second duel this game? Apart from that first one under the tower? There's only been one. Yeah. Well, I mean, he hasn't had the opportunity because all their all their smokes didn't work out. Yeah. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It just feels like. Everybody on the side of Geek Fam is just stifled. They can't actually play the way they want to. The Pudge, the LC, and to a, a lesser extent, the, the Ember Spirit, right? Even Ember Spirit is afraid to like go play the split pushing game. He's gone for the Blink Dagger instead of the BOT. They're afraid to farm this wave outside of their base. <laughs> My god. Yep, and like the thing about Ember as well is like, his farm's not the worst. He has the items he needs to fight. But he's only level 14, and I don't think you can really rely on an Ember Spirit that's such a at such a low level. It's almost 30 minutes in. Normally, Embers who are doing somewhat decently are up close to like 20 at this stage. I mean, your damage output is pretty max, right? I guess you're missing your last level of your Fire Remnant. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you're missing your talent, which is a really big thing. No, no, no he's got the 15% as well. Um, uh, like... I was referring to the uh, CDR for the 20. Okay. Yeah. Alright, Cuckoo has the, the Scotty now. So, casual 2700 HP. Frost attacks. Hitting for close to. 350? 300, 339, is that what it is? Yeah, with, the, with minus armor on top. It's got an Aegis too. Yep. And I mean, at this point, Geek Fam are just kind of... Like, they already expended all of their smoke, so... I mean, at this point, they're just, just kind stuck of like... stuck in the base. Yeah, they're just Dyer's stuck in the base, and they're getting out-farmed. Like, at what point do you decide to just make a play? Because I, I think, like, this kind of strategy is just waiting to lose. I mean, you just basically... They, they ha I think I have to have one smoke in the shop. Unless uh, this uh, shop tooltip is broken. I, I, don't, I don't think it ever shows you... Uh, who has what? It used to be that if you click on the like one team's hero, you can see what what is uh, in their shop. Okay, nice look here. Uh, Shadow Queen actually does not carry. Pops the blade mail and the duel. The best of going to be back out here. And now Siku is going to be the channel of the red field. He gets lifted up here. Baylor's going to go down to right and blend on the toggle, but can't toggle out of this one. And now Luna's going to get defensive hook back, but Cuckoo should hit there. Look at Cuckoo's average output and the right first. There's an obvious flash. And now Tiki is there as well in the play now. Okay, Cuckoo is actually still not dead. If, if he if he hit the uh, the Ember with his record, he would have killed himself. Yeah, but the Ember died before that, so... In Chinese game pop, pop? We, we call this uh, the Godzilla monster. It's like... It's a monster that's slowly growing throughout the whole game. Is that, is that the and, terminology? Yeah, instead of saying the main boss, it's just like... The Godzilla Godzilla. monster. It's like, what, what's happening over here? Personally, I prefer the uh, the raid boss terminal.
10 seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. I I actually think this is potentially Reserve a carry time. bench. No, it might just be an offlane slogger. Yeah, it might just be a core a core slogger core binge. Um It's just like, you know, with, with the there being a pudge, if someone gets hooked can actually turn the fight around just by having a core bench go in like that and you just itemize for it and tank up <clears throat> so it's kind of like a it's kind of like a, a counter to pudge if the slaughter initiates like you know go off whoever gets the Ten gun, seconds but remaining. if your teammate gets thin i mean this is a potential Five seconds remaining eight. Then the second game was the Meepo pick. To pick. Their trademark, uh, Five. off. <clears throat> Reserve time. Dire team pick. Seems like people just really like it for to combo it up with the then hook someone. It's always good for a potential save. Uh, slaughter blinks in and crushes. <clears throat> Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. He already is. He, he already is. Time. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I pick him too. It's great. I mean, he can he can he can fall flat on his face at the same time, so it's hit or miss. That's why you have to take it into your own hands and learn how to play himself. So that's what I'm doing. I've lost MMR, but you know what? I'm learning. Sort of, yeah. Legion Commander! <clears throat> TNC's turn to pick. A couple of picks, man. Rubik, not so much, but Luna. <laughs> they're not, yeah, they're not out then. There's definitely no way they're gonna mess around and have fun. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. So basically, if they draw, they're tied with space, and if they win, they are first place. <clears throat> TNC's turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. <clears throat> Finally, but I mean, performance for WSG has like been pretty solid. Uh, they just have to play a little more composed. I think, like, I think it was before, was it before yesterday? They played like a very, very strange game where they felt it felt like they were just playing very very cocky and as long as they avoid doing something like that i think they're like in a really cool position to just take these games fairly easily 
Yeah, TNC. So it's yesterday. Ten seconds remain.